Okay, hi guys, Sarah B here And today I'm going to show you guys how I change my engine oil Okay, it's a very short video, kind of So basically okay, I can't do this with visor down <laughs> So basically, engine oil, to change it yourself is It's actually quite simple Just that For, for me, myself, I like to go to the shop Because I, I like to let them handle it for me But sometimes when I have the time, I like to do it myself get me more in touch with the bike and and you know feel more love with the bike so anyway here's here's how we do it here's how i do it okay first thing obviously you need your engine oil i use uh vrome lubricants this this one exactly thanks to motorway for this yeah by the way uh motorway actually use this for their racers and and stuff so it's, it's actually really good i've been using this for a while now and it's to be quite honest, I'm not a very sensitive person as in like I don't really know the difference, I can't feel the difference. But I've been using all the other you know motor liquid moly and all all this this engine oil and it's all it feels the same. I mean that's for me lah. It's for people who can feel the difference, the exact difference. And it's good. So anyways I use, for my engine oil, I use like 1.3 liters So, I have two bottles here I have this for funnel So in case if the bottle don't have the, the thingy right, the straight tube thingy, I can use this easier And then this You don't really need this exact tool, you just need something to clip the top And then this Range size 17 for the bottom Which I'll show you in a bit and then this one this one normally what's inside is like fish or chicken no lah this is to catch the engine oil okay so let's get right to it okay so for those of you who want to know how or like when exactly to change the engine oil it's quite simple some people use like time and like some people change it every month or you know every 1500 kilometers it, it depends up to you lah some some people know how to feel their bike yeah this is what i do i put a cloth over this so it doesn't damage it because you see previously i never used cloth now it's a bit damaged what i like to do is just open it and then you can actually feel the engine oil lah. If it's still smooth or gritty, you know. For me, I while riding, I really felt like it's kind of not so smooth anymore. So that's why I need to change. So yeah, that's the first thing. You take this out. What I like to do is just open this up for more ventilation, so it's easier for the excess engine oil to drain out. I guess. put this and then well, I'll take a video I'll show you guys what how the bottom actually looks like so you can see there's like one nut there not I'm not talking about myself but you can see like there's a nut right there yeah there, there's the nut I don't know if you can see but if you can see the nut that's where you want this thing to hook onto so since for myself I, I already sort of like professional right no lah since I already know roughly where the nut is I can just put my wrench or you can like look a bit and then you can see where exactly and then this uh, you have to keep in mind righty tighty lefty loosey so imagine the clock right clock is clockwise goes right now imagine you are like below your bike like right below so right will be tight right obviously so you're gonna go left so now I need to think of 
If I want to go left, where do I turn? The other way. Okay. So mine is this way. There you go. You already had the first kind of first motion. So you know it's loose already. So all you have to do is just keep turning. Yeah, there you go. And don't forget your nut sometimes have the like washer, right? Don't sometimes it may leak into there into your sign you have to fish it back. And see that's why you have a cloth. Wipe, wipe. If you have never changed your own engine oil, you know, sometimes it's, it's nice to just do it yourself for once. Maybe you just like for the experience and then the other times you can just send it back to the shop. For me, I, norm I normally don't have time to do it myself. I'm just showing you guys. So, there, yeah, it's raining out. Yeah, it's still dripping, dripping wet. <laughs> so anyways, I like to like move my bike a bit so that whatever excess remaining thing will come out again. You see? Hee pee pee! Okay, so now that he's somewhat done, she's done peeing, right? All you have to do is close her back up. <laughs> yeah, so it, the same thing you find where the hole is. <laughs> that sounds like sure. So anyway, you just find back where the the hole is, right? Give it a wipe. Then put the, put your nuts in it. Put your nuts in her. Yeah, you can use your hand lah. It's easier to turn it till it's like slightly tight. And then use the wrench, so it's easier. Yeah, and the hole is closed. Stitch her up. Move this thing. You won't need this anymore. And then. There you go. Nah. Close AD. You see, it's quite quite simple to take, to take out the engine oil, right? For my bike, I don't have any like oil filter or anything. I have air filter, but then it's another time. So I have oil filter. That's that's very easy to change. So then, now to top it up. See, room engine oil. Very good. If if you wanna know, I'll put all the details like on the next page. Like it's like S N M E two, all this this stuff. Uh, ten W forty. By the way, that's why I use ten W forty. It's A P I S N J S O M E two. You see all these all these words and numbers. What do they mean, Mason? Yeah, all all these words and numbers. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> I'm not like a mechanic or like really into this sort of technical terms. But from what I know, this is professional grade. Okay, even in MotoGP they use this. You can search it up. And this is made in the Netherlands. So, so yeah. So. And I think most of the engine oils nowadays, right, they, are, they have like a built-in funnel. So you don't really need the funnel. This was where and I was changing for I was using some other lubricant. So yeah, I just empty the one whole bottle into her. Squish squish. I'm gonna go drink 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 up. Ah, drink some more drink some more. Wish. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh man, I want to drink Milo now. This reminds me of the Milo box. Cocok lagi, cocok, cocok. Oh, still have some more lah. Yeah, I keep all here. Hang on. Ah, 
everything come out, everything. All out. All out. Okay, see? This box, don't, don't just throw away straight away. This box, I mean the... What else do you call this? This container. Remember to put back the old engine oil into this and then bring the container to a bike shop you trade in, no lie, you just give them and then say it's, it's used engine oil, they will know what to do with it Don't throw it to your dustbin, no. Don't, do not throw it to your longkang, you know This longkang water oil we drink okay, That's why the funnel is good, you can funnel back if not, you're gonna have a hard time. The final you can find it at any like hardware store or anything. It's quite simple to find. I'm just gonna empty. Oh yeah, if you just use one bottle, right? And then use the dipstick. You actually won't see anything. So you see? You put her straight, huh? See, even if I her straight it's like just touch the tip <laughs> even if the bike is straight it's only at the tip oh yeah with the new engine oil you can feel also it's more smooth not as gritty as used one oh. okay let's put the more engine oil inside If you do want to find out like how much engine oil to actually put you can go to google and then like search what other people how much other people use as well or you just use the dipstick lah to see you have to from what i know you have to fill up the whole all the xxx thing right this thing you have to at least touch all so it's considered like half of this lah half of the dipstick That's why I use 1.3 And now We wipe the dipstick And then we put on lipstick And now Tada Still nothing <laughs> Now I see See It's filled Now It reaches All So yeah That's the easiest way to Change your engine oil and do it yourself. And this thing and tighten back a bit. Yeah, that's all. I know you love it. You love your new engine oil. Now I have to put this thing all back, but I'll do that by myself. You guys don't have to see the struggle. So, anyways, yeah, that's that's all for the engine oil change. Say hi to Ducky. She got her feathers now. Very cute. Okay, that's all. Thanks, thanks once again to all. And thanks to Motorworld for the engine oils. And also, just to let you guys know, I have my shirt. Uh, can I get Vroom Vroom? It's also at Motor World. You can go there and get your shirts. It's for $18 each. So go, go, get it, go, get it. Go, get it, then take a picture, send it to me. You know, I'll feature you. Okay, bye-bye. That's all. Say bye-bye to Miss Tina. Bye-bye.